Hi, this is Josh Hines. I want to thank you for taking a moment to let me share my audio program with you. Why Perfect Timing is a Myth. Again, here's a copy of it. Hopefully you can check, can see that. It's called Why Perfect Timing is a Myth. Tips for staying motivated and inspired day in and day out. Now this particular program is over an hour in length. It's got a number of some of my best lessons and different things. And I'll, and I'll touch on some of those lessons as well, share a few of them. You can read all the lessons below. It, just look at the part that says Table of Contents. Then also, as you're, as you're looking through, you can decide if this is something that, that you want to add to your personal development library. Just look at the special pricing that we've got set up for you on it. And also, be sure and check out those testimonials because as much as I'd like to tell you how wonderful and great it is, rather you be able to decide for yourself and listen to what other people say, right? Okay, so just to kind of touch on some of the lessons that are, that are in this, there's one called a quick tip for strengthening your personal network and that's a lesson on networking and I'm sure but I don't have to tell you how important it is to to develop a quality network before you need them of people both personally and professionally who can help you when you need help but also probably more importantly that you can help and be there for when they need someone because obviously it's like the old saying goes as my friend Bob Berg would say, if if he would say, all things being equal, people will always choose to do business with those they know, like, and trust first. And that's a little paraphrase on his wise words, but take it to heart. Okay? So then from there, we've got a lesson called Seek the Counsel of Qualified Mentors. I'm certain that I don't need to teach, talk, you know, completely go over the value of and what a difference it can mean to have mentors in your life, both personally and professionally, but I think it's also very important that they're qualified. In other words, and there are a number of different ways to decide exactly whether they're qualified, but suffice it to say, one of the important things is to kind of make sure there's somebody that's been there, done that, and when you're asking for advice on a particular topic, that they can kind of give it unbiased and actually go beyond whether they personally believe that they can accomplish that thing and you know look at it and say well okay I know this person well enough I've, or, I've, or I've experienced this I know that it can be done this is what needs to be done yada 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 and be able to help you map out a plan to do that so again really important that you have qualified mentors in the given areas that you're seeking help in and that lesson in particular is going to kind of get into that. Then another one is, you know, reasons for keeping a journal. I liken this to kind of like the old saying, why history is so important. Because it's like, how can you, how can you get to where you know you want to go if you don't know where you've been? And so there are a whole host of reasons why keeping a journal is important. But one of the key ones is that one of the key things that I do with keeping when my journal is I like to record my daily wins. I like to record successes and, and things so that I can look back in that journal and say, you know what, I don't need to make myself feel good. I can actually reread an accomplishment and it becomes a great source of validation for me. And I believe if you keep a journal as well and, and the lesson you'll learn in that little lesson is it will allow it to do the same for you. Okay. Then, of course, another one is a lesson I'm going to teach on called Make the Commitment to Take Action. If you're familiar with my work, and, and I'm sure that you are, action is a huge point for me. A lot of times we have ideas, and we have these great ideas, we have these great goals and things that we want. We write them down. We write all the reasons we want them down, but we never really get to that point where we say, this is what I need to do. This is, the, this is how I take this idea and make an action point out of it and then do that action point. And once that's accomplished, do another one. Because I want you to keep this saying in mind, and it's pretty simple, but really kind of keep it in the back of your mind and bring it out when you need to. All else fails without first action. And if you'll kind of keep that in mind, and then when you hear that, let it trigger for you the saying, which is also one that, that I say a lot in my work, and that is, you know, I'm always wanting to ask that question, what in this can I control? So in other words, I'm trying to make an action point 
around an idea that I want to accomplish and then allow that, uh, take that action, maybe it leads to another action that gets taken. And of course it's moving me closer to whatever idea, goal, you know, new business venture, um, something in my personal life or professional life, what have you. The point is getting, getting to the point where you become action oriented okay and and you instead of just thinking ideas and wanting ideas to happen you actually create action points around it and move forward okay and let those actions catapult you to wherever it is that you want to be want to get now of course I got another lesson called build your dream which is getting back into some goal setting and things like that very important following through on your goals. I touched a little bit about that with what I talked about before in the action lesson. Again, this is this is building on that. Also touching on some other goal setting things and, and ways to, to really bring those those goals from from in your mind into reality, making them real. Um, model the success of others, very important. A lot of people maybe you're setting out in to succeed in your in a particular career or an endeavor or maybe you want to be a better a better friend family member parent what have you it's important to keep this idea of modeling there and not fashion modeling but rather this the idea that somebody there has done what you want to accomplish and if you can learn and sort of dissect what it is that they did you can model and within reason the idea and it's been proven out in other situations that within reason you can get similar, possibly even better results in the person you're modeling, at least at least similar within reason. Okay, so that's a lesson that we're going to get into, among others. Now, talked about several different lessons. Obviously, as I mentioned, there's a whole slew more of them, and you can read each one of the titles below on the table of contents. Take a moment to do that. I hope that you will. Again, decide, you'll, I want you to decide for yourself whether the investment in this program warrants adding it to your personal success library. I hope that you will. Either way, again, I want to thank you for the support that you give me of my work. I know that we, again, I know without it, I couldn't do what it is that I want to do, so I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I sincerely appreciate it. Most importantly, I want you to remember, it's your life. Live big.